Hello, I'm Gareth, and we're going to have a look at how to apply the LIFO method of inventory valuation. Now, LIFO is last in, first out, which means that when we make a sale, we actually sell the newest units, the ones that were the last to go into the storeroom. So we've got our example here. On the 1st of January, the business buys 20 bananas. That's a receipt of inventory for 20 pence each. On the 5th of January, they buy a further 30 bananas, meaning at that point they'll have a total of 50. Slight increase in the price of bananas, maybe a bit of inflation there. And then on the 10th of January, they sell 40 bananas. They make an issue of inventory. So that's bananas going out of the storeroom. Now, if they had 50 bananas and they've sold 40 of them, they're going to have 10 bananas left at the end of the period. And there are two figures we're interested in. The cost of the issue. Now, the cost of the issue is the cost of what the 40 bananas they've sold originally cost them. And we've also got to work out the value of the remaining inventory. So the 10 bananas that are left at the end of January, what did they cost? Well, we're going to apply... LIFO here, last in is first out. And we can use a little table, so in your assessment you could grab a sheet of paper to start scribbling your workings on. I'm going to use a table with a column for the date of each transaction, column to record the number of units that are either coming in or going out of the storeroom. I'm going to record the cost per unit because as we've seen there's a change in the cost per unit as time progresses. And then a column for the total cost. Well, first transaction, 1st of January. We've got a purchase or a receipt of 20 bananas. They're 20 pence each. 20 pence being 0.2 pounds. So 20 times 0.2. Well, if you pay 20 pence each for 20 bananas, that's a total cost of 4 pounds you've just spent. So the value of that first transaction is 4 pounds. 5th of January, purchase another 30 bananas, that will take us to a total of 50 units, 50 actual bananas we've currently got. Slight increase in the price, remember they're 30 pence per unit, and if you pay 30 pence each for 30 bananas, well that's £9 total cost for that transaction. And with receipts you just add both the units and the cost to what you had at that point, so £4 plus £9, the value of our 50 bananas at that point is therefore £13. That's effectively the value of the inventory we own at that point. So receipts fairly straightforward, just add them on to the total units and the total cost. The harder bit comes in looking at the sale or the issue of inventory on the 10th of January. Now we know we're selling 40 bananas, 40 bananas now leaving the storeroom. So we know that at the end of the month, we're going to have 10 bananas left. But how can we go about identifying where that 40 bananas came from? Now under LIFO, the last in is the first out. So when we're going to get the 40 bananas to sell to a hungry customer, well, the last in was the 30 bananas that we bought on the 5th of January. So again, if I show a little working, so I can be scribbling this down on a piece of paper, we're actually going to take the entire 30 units from the 5th of January, which had a cost per unit of 30 pence. So we know in total, that's £9 worth of bananas, but obviously 30 bananas doesn't make up the total of 40. So we then go to the next newest units, which once we've got rid of the 30 from the 5th, we have to go back to the 20 from the first. Now we only need to take 10 of those bananas to make up the 40 I'm selling. Those were at 20 pence per unit when we originally bought them. Well, 10 bananas at 20 pence per unit is a total cost of two pounds for that 10. Now we can therefore work out the total cost of the issue. So what's the total cost of the 40 bananas we're selling? Well, there are 30 bananas from the 5th at a total cost of £9, 10 from the 1st at a total cost of £2, which gives me £11 as the total cost of the issue. 
Now, if you've already worked through these figures under FIFO, what you might notice is that gives a different figure. Under FIFO, we had a total cost of the issue of £10. We've now got under LIFO a total cost of the issue of £11. Now, the reason we get a slightly higher figure is, can you see, we're actually now using more units at the slightly higher cost per unit. We're taking all 30 units at 30 pence per unit. If you've already worked through FIFO, you'll have seen that we actually only take 20 units at the 30 pence per unit under FIFO. And so we've actually got more units at the more recent higher price, which is why we get a higher cost of the issue. And what you can imagine is if we compare that £11 to the revenue generated on the sale, well, the fact you're comparing a higher cost means that under LIFO, the profit shown would be lower. Well, the other figure we want to calculate is the value of the remaining inventory. Well, again, with issues or sales, you just knock off the figures. So we've knocked off the units. We can just knock off the cost as well. Well, 13 less a total of 11 is £2 as the value of the remaining 10 bananas. And you can double check the logic of that figure. Always worth just checking that your figures make sense. And remember, under LIFO, We'd got rid of all 30 units that we bought on the 5th of January, and we got rid of 10 units from the first, meaning that the 10 remaining bananas were all from that first purchase on the 1st of January, and that first purchase was at 20 pence per unit. And if you check, 10 bananas times 20 pence per banana is indeed two pounds of remaining inventory. So you can do a little logical double check that your number makes sense.